Hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. Today I have a fun video. I have recently made a purchase from Craft Consortium and I got some of their um, 12 by 12 paper packs. These I purchased on Amazon. Oh, did I get these on Amazon? I Yes, these I got on Amazon. My previous video that I did showing the Graphic 45, those came from Blue Moon. But the, all of these paper packs I did um, purchase on Amazon. And they also have some matching um, clear stamps that coordinate with these packs. So I'd love to have you stick around um, because I, I really think you should see these. I was not familiar with Craft Consortium until another gal that was working on some special projects. Um, she used the stamps and I went and purchased a couple packs of stamps. And then I saw, I said, you know, what? I'm just going to see if they have any paper. And when it came up, I just absolutely fell in love with the, the paper. Um, I did not, I'm not sure, I can't tell you if they have any 8x8 or 6x6 pads. I, I don't know. I was specifically looking for the the 12x12. Um, so you'll have to check that out yourself if there's something here that you see. So like I said, I'd love to have you stick around. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, that will help my channel. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe because... Um, I do, you know, some show and tells, not too many. I, you know, they have to be pretty special. Um, and I do like to share. I like to share um, shops. I like to promote other people's work. Um, I think that's very important. So I'm going to dig into these paper packs. And now I know a lot of paper packs, um, they'll give you 20 sheets. The Craft Consortium, these papers, they contain 40 double-sided sheets. So they are, they are pretty thick. Um, and it's, this paper here is 200 GSM. And then uh, this says, I need, actually I need to put my glasses on. Um, there's 150, it's 150 GSM pearlescent papers. Um, so there's two different types of paper in these packs. And a lot of these packs, they are specially designed by um, women over in the UK. This pack is designed by Katie Putt. And it gives a little bio on the back here. Um, so Craft Consortium, let's see. This is at home in the Wildflowers. Um, based on nature by award-winning London-based artist and illustrator Katie Putt. Um, so this is how this is how she it says here a relaxed modern touch. Katie's medium of choice is watercolors with a softness and hand-painted charm that is achieved with each brush stroke, as well as being able to create different composition with each layer of pigment. So I'm just clearing a spot over there because I'm going to put, I have, these are all the packs I have. I have two, four, I have five packs. So I'm going to move the other ones over there. And we're going to start here. Um, and this is at home in the wildflowers. And it is just gorgeous. So this is the front cover. And you could actually, once you're done with the paper, you could fussy cut these images out here and use um, and there's images if you want to solo images inside so this is they, they call this additional topper elements so you could cut these and use on your front cover or however you see fit to use them um, journaling cards pockets however I think I have my camera I have it up. I'm actually standing up to show you this because I can't sit and I just want to adjust my camera so I can get almost all of it in view. 
and the paper, the feel of this paper is just beautiful. Um, so this here is the pearlescent. So it says the pearlescent papers. So this is your pearlescent. So you can see it kind of has a little shimmer and sheen to it. And everything coordinates. So you actually get four, you get four papers of each design. So it gives you plenty of wiggle room if you want to, um, you know, use two, however you want to use either in your scrapbooking or in your junk journals. And this here, this is the pearlescent. This is just a, um, what do I want to call this? It's just, a, it's raised. So there's a little bit of bump to it. It's almost like it's a embossed on here. And then this is your pearlescent paper. You can see how beautiful that is, the shine. And then this is the back side of it with the, the butterflies and the caterpillars. So you get four papers of these. And you can see that there. I think in the light you can see the shimmer in the pearlescence there. And then we have our, our honeybees. And again, they have little, you can see the little embossed bees here. And then here's the back side with the daisies. It's just absolutely gorgeous paper. And then here we have, they almost look like, um, they're not peonies, so obviously it's just some sort of vine, climbing vine. But again, the, um, the colors are muted. They're very soft, very warm, very, very pretty. And you have your reeds, cattails, actually. And then you have more lovely... So these I'm going to um, be making. I'll use these in my scrapbooks, but I'm also going to be making some journals um, with these papers because they're just so pretty. And we have some wildflowers. They almost look like dandelions, but I don't think that they are. And they might be. These might be the dandelion seeds floating through the air. And this one here, you've got your snail carrying his home around with him wherever he goes. Here's some beetles, centipede, uh, another, uh, this looks like a um, butterfly house there, uh, what, chrys chrislip, chrislip, is that what you want to... Very pretty. These almost look like, um, this is a pearlescent, again, this is more pearlescent paper, so you can see the shimmer and the, the shine to it. Very, very pretty. And then you have your birds. I don't know if that's a mockingbird or a, just a blackbird. If it's over in the UK, you can probably tell me. Lovely, lovely papers. And then again, on the back, you have different images um, than you had. Let's see if I can show you the front and the back here. Yeah. A few different images that you, that's on the back here versus the front. And then you can see down here, Katie signs it. So that is the wildflowers, and I don't think I got, didn't purchase, they didn't have a stamp. Here's, so I'll show you these two with this one. Um, so this one here is just wildflower, again, I gotta get my glasses, sorry. Uh, wildflower meadow, so this is at home in the wildflowers. Um, this is Wildflower Meadow, and this is Wildflower Meadow. But I thought these stamps would go quite lovely um, with this paper. And I'll take these out. 
and again, this is Craft Consortium. Um, I will tell you their papers are a little bit more expensive. Their, their pads run anywhere from $24 to $27.99 for a pad. Their stamps are right around $7.99. Um, but you really get some lovely, and these are clear. The image here just, it just shows like the rabbit. But see, it has the clear, all the clear stamps. So you get a rabbit, your dragonflies, and then your, your wildflowers. It's like a little vole. Um, and again, that one is Wildflower Meadow. This is a special edition. And then this one, again, is Wildflower Meadow. I just can't wait to start working with these. Lately, I've, I've just had so many things that I've thought of that I want to make and create. Um, I just don't know what I'm going to have the time. So again, this is another little different of the hairs. These are some hairs here and um, your dragonfly, your butterfly. So these would be very pretty to put in the corner if you had some tea dyed papers and some little accents. So those are the, those are the two sets of stamps that I got to go with that. Um, the next one I purchased was the, this is Hackney and Company Hand Illustrated Design. Again, it's Craft Consortium. This one reminds me almost like of wallpaper. Um, this is Tell the Bees, and again, it's 12 by 12. This is 200 GSM with the 150 GSM uh, pearlescent papers, and there's 40 in this pack, and I just think this is so pretty. Um, again, it has all the honeybees and additional topper elements. That's what they're calling these. And this here, it just really, it just has a beautiful feel to it. And again, you get four, four papers with the one design. So this is the back of this here. And this one here is mostly golds, uh, the blues, navy blue, creams and beiges. Very earthy, very natural colors. And you have your honeybees. I have my lights positioned. It's night. I'm making this at night, and I just, I hope that the uh, the light is good for everybody. So here's the front and back. There's your queen bee. And you have your honey, your beehives, which I think are really cute. And then you got more bees, but you could make a very dramatic um, looking journal with these papers. I like that. Your honeycomb. These are little pieces of wheat. Same pattern, just a different, deeper. Beautiful colors, very dramatic. And that's it for that. And then again, this is the back um, here. So you can see the two different um, elements that you can fussy cut out. And this here is designed, well, um, Hackney and Company it doesn't give an individual person. Um, oh, the, her name is Katie as well. Oh, 
let's see here. Just it's redesigned by Katie into a new and exclusive color palette. Tell the Bees Special Edition is the eighth paper craft collection installment in our partnership with Katie. So I don't again, I don't know if it's so this is a different Katie. It's not Katie Putt. Um, because I think she spelled her name um K-A-T. Oh, this is Caddy. K-A-T-Y. Caddy. Yeah, so. So with that set, I did get I purchased those stamps there. Um and these will go, these are part of the set. This is the Tell the Bees stamp set that goes with that. And you can see the um, the little bee hives with some honeycomb. There's your queen bee. So that will be quite lovely with that, with that paper um, for envelopes and as such. So the next one is this is so adorable this one is called um, little farm and friends and i'm not sure how to pronounce her last name um let me look on the back to see if it's oh let's see they don't spell it out it's nina i don't know if that's an s Stanschner. Um, she's from Slovenia. And this is her, this is her artwork and the collection that she came up with. And again, 40 um, double-sided sheets, 20 hand illustrated designs, and additional toppers. This is 200 GSM. And this I really like um, because you can open it like this and then you open it again. So you could actually use this in a scrapbook and have this as a frame for a family photo or um, whatever you would like to do. And then over here, you can cut out, you know, these little pieces here. So I really like, I really like this. And here's more little additional toppers um, that you would use for all these little all the little animals, but this is just a darling, darling um, paper set illustrations. And again, still four, four papers with each design. And then you have your little forest. And your little forest friends. And you have your squirrels with the oak, oak leaves and acorns. Here you have some branches, little winter. I think this would be like a winter scene. Um, this would make a beautiful fall winter um, journal. Okay, you have your bunnies, and you could use these in a spring Easter. I love these with the hedgehog and the little field mouse, and your fawn and your bird. the little hedgehog and then this is the again the front and the back front and the back so you really get in all of these you you get you know lovely lovely papers that you can really um, you can do so much with and trees Your skunk, I love that skunk. And then again, that's 
that's it. There's nothing on the back. So you actually just get your your front here again. So that is little fawn and friends. And let's see. So this did have a sticker um, set, which I purchased. Of course I did. And here is the, this is what you get here with the, you get your squirrel, rabbit, your fox, everything that you see, except for the skunk, but everything that you see in the, um, in the pad there. So that will go with that. And this here, um, this is called Woodland. And this is by Claire Therese. And again, 40 double-sided, uh, 200 GSM papers and 150 GSM pearlescent papers. And these are just wonderful. Um, the pheasants. This just really, I love this. We have a lot of pheasants and grouse um, where I live. And so I'm very um, particular to this pad. But look at, look at the, these wildflowers. Oh, they're just beautiful. Let's see who designed. Yeah, here's, uh, this is Claire. Claire lives and works on a farm with her husband and three young children. Um, illustrator Claire Therese Gray. Trained at the Royal Drawing School, traditional techniques remain uh, central to her work. Since embarking on a freelance career in 2013, she has created, um, oh, my glasses on, bespoke designs worldwide for Homewares, fabric, and stationery. Yeah, this is gorgeous. So that's a little bit about her. And here's the back side. Okay, so that's a wildflower. And then we move into the um, pheasants. Look at these feathers. Aren't they pretty? So very pretty. All right, and then we move over here. These little wreaths, the trees, the owl. How beautiful this is. Mm. Very, very pretty. Very elegant. Um, very elegant. Little hedgehogs again. Little birdie. You have your mushrooms. Your tree trunks, some fall leaves. This is like a, a peachy, real pretty peachy background. And then you have your cream over here. And here's some, the pearlescent. This is a blue, not that pretty. And that's the last page. Oh, no, that isn't the last Okay, so then we have our herringbone here. Very pretty. So I'm wondering if that is the only um, pearlescent. So here's your front and back. So you can see you get a nice, you have your wreath. You get a really nice variety of, yeah, the, let's see, I think just the back might be the pearlescent. Yeah. So that is the Woodland series. And I did get two, I got two um, different 
clear stamps to go with that. So that does have the tree stump. You can see there, there's the skunk. And these would be, make beautiful cards as well. Um, if you're into card making, I love to make cards. And then just write a nice, nice sentiment inside or even just, you know, for a letter. And then again, this is the woodland. This is where you have your pheasants and your, your other birds and some wildflowers. So it's, it's just a lovely grouping. And then I did purchase this. This is in the forest. Um, I don't know. I didn't see the, any paper to go with this, so they might not have had it. But I got this for a lot of my hiking um, pictures when I do my scrapbook of all the mountains that I've hiked in. And that's the other thing. I mean, all these, um, any of these uh, craft consortium stamps would be perfect for my, my scrapbooking to go with my photos. And then the last paper pack that I got um, from the craft consortium, they had two. This one is Ink Drops Dusk. I can't remember the other one, but I just fell in love with the, the, the colors in this paper. Um, and if you're one to, you know, create journals and you use your um, crinkly, sorry silk on the side, I call it candy ribbon um, topping, you know, where you, you make your ruffles, these papers would go beautiful with that. And I just love these. You have your gold flex. It's just amazing, amazing paper. So you have all of your muted ones, um, your darker colors in the beginning here. Look at that. And again, you get four of each design. Then they start to get lighter and brighter as you head towards the, the back. And you start with your greens and pinks. But isn't that gorgeous? I just can't wait to start using these. These would have been fun to use in my JoJo um, junk journal. JoJo in Paris. Look at that. Isn't that gore? I just can't get over it. And it's just such beautiful paper. It's To me, it's definitely worth, you know, if you really want to treat yourself to something and you really want to splurge, you know, th this paper is just, oh, it's just so yummy. It's, it's, oh, I, I just can't stand, I can't take it. Look at that. Look at that. And then you, goes into your blues. So that is it. That is it, my friends. That was enough for me. Um, but I cannot, I cannot say enough about all of the, the stamps and the papers, um, I just, I fell in love with it. I mean, I'm a big graphic 45 girl, but I, I think I've, I've, I've moved over to the craft consortium because their papers are just unbelievable. So check it out. Um, you know, I really appreciate you watching this video and, you know, check out their papers and, um, you know, if you if you get any, I'd love to I'd love to have you tell me which ones you get and what you're gonna make with them. And um, yeah, that's it. So I hope you you really enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you a little insight of a new product um, that's out there and the papers. So again, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you down the road. All right, everybody. Bye bye.